But what's going on guys? My name's Colin, other than the Zapathy. I'm back with another album review. Today we're gonna be doing 50 cents. Um I don't wanna, you know, bash, uh, but 50 cents only good album that he has made, in my opinion. Um, but I am excited for his new album, Animal Uh Ambition, I think it's called. It comes out June 3rd, I believe. Be sure, um, I think I might pick that up. Um, but let's get into it, okay? So when 50 Cent made this album, um, which was the same time he made the actual movie, I believe, he, um, I think a reporter or in an interview, he said he didn't sleep when he wasn't doing the movie or, you know, shooting the movie. He was working on the, um, the soundtrack, the album. Now, um, without a doubt, it's a 10 out of 10 classic. Without a doubt, this album is, um, his best album to date. Um, I don't know about his new album because it's not out, but until then, this is his best album. Um, he had, uh, I would say he had some good features on, he had some really good features on this album, you know, Eminem, um, Nate Dogg, uh, I didn't really like the Lloyd Banks feature that much, I think his verse was kind of lacking a little bit, but no doubt this, this album's great. Um, he had some really good producers on this album too. The production on this album, 10 out of 10. Uh, he had Eminem, Dre, um, fuck, I forgot his name. Uh, shit. I think it was, um, I'm trying to remember his name. Fuck. Um, uh, on that one song, that, uh, that Many Men song. I forgot his name. Digga, yeah. Um, he had him. Um, without a doubt, great album. Uh, everyone loves In the Club, of course. Um, that's like the best uh, single off of this whole album, without a doubt. Um, but everyone loved this album. Everyone thought, you know, that you know how everyone loves early New York hip hop. This was without a doubt one of the best albums of the decade of from 2000 to 2010. Without a doubt, one of the best albums of the decade. But um, the thing is, he doesn't. He, he how should I put it? With this album and his other albums, they aren't really cohesive. They 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 don't work together as well as other you know hip hop artists and other rappers. Um, and it's kind of sad because everyone was expecting him to be you know some fucking amazing rapper. Um, if if he didn't fuck up after this album, um, after all these other albums, he could be, you know, he could have been the king of, uh, New York for the time, you know? Um, but you have to think about how New York has produced so many good greats, um, Biggie, uh, shit, uh, Nas, um, Big L, fucking, I mean, New York is one of the best, it's the birthplace of hip-hop, but also it's one of the best places to hear good hip-hop from it produces the best legends in hip-hop and people you know take that for granted everyone likes west coast because it's that chill feeling and then people like you know east coast because of the how should i put it the raw lyrics the lyricism you know the rhyme schemes um but get rich or die trying best 50 sip album productions on point lyricism from him fucking amazing um, 10 out of 10, I give this album, and it is a classic, without a doubt. Uh, but I hope you guys did enjoy. My name's Colin, and I'm signing out. See you guys later.